Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back once again to Solid Gold. And wait, what's this? It would appear that there are some new fish in my life. I got some new fish for the 90 gallon tank. Yes, they are angelfish. I'm really excited because I've been really curious about angelfish for a really long time simply because the people that have them seem to really, really love them, kind of like with goldfish. Like when you have goldfish, you really, really love them because they're so cute, they're so personable, they really interact with you. And what I've heard about angelfish is pretty much the same except with the added layer that they can be a little bit aggressive with one another, which can be a downside. But I have a 90 gallon tropical community tank in my living room that used to have discus in it. I did not do so well with the discus. And so now it only has black phantom tetras and also albino longfin bristlenose plecos. And it's really, it's a beautiful tank, but it's really missing kind of like a centerpiece fish that's gonna be kind of the main draw of the tank and really bring the tank to life and make it seem more lively in there. So I've been thinking about getting angelfish for a really, really long time. I was just perusing my local fish store looking for some driftwood pieces for actually my dart frog vivariums. And I saw that they had this really nice looking group of angelfish for sale. There were some orange marbles and some koi angelfish. They seem to be doing really well in quarantine so far. I've had them here in this 40 gallon breeder quarantine tank right next to my desk so I see them a lot throughout the day but I've had them here for five weeks in their separate quarantine tank keeping them separate keeping their water change equipment separate from all of my other tanks just to make sure they're nice and healthy before I add them to the 90 gallon tank and so far so good the three that you can see kind of grouped together right there they have all kind of decided to gang up on the uh, the the koi angelfish that's kind of hiding behind the filter intake. So I'm gonna have to do something about that one. He is, for now, still eating with the other ones during feeding time, but then they'll quickly, you know, peck at him and then he'll hide behind the filter tube again. So I may have to find a different home for him with somebody else that has a tank where he will get along with the fish. Um, I knew that was a risk when I was getting these angelfish because they are pretty aggressive. They have an aggressive streak. But I think for now, when I move these guys into the 90 gallon tank, I'm just going to move the three that have decided that they're kind of buddies with each other and leave the picked on one here in the quarantine tank so he can recover from that a little bit and maybe get get some food in him, get him fed up and bulked up so that I can move him back in with the other ones in the 90 gallon tank when he gets a little bit bigger. As you guys may remember, the 90 gallon tropical community tank is out here in my living room. It's doing really well. Everybody in here is doing great. It's really nice because this has been a really kind of low maintenance tank for me which is good because I have a lot of other tanks. It's really rare for me to find Madagascar lace plants around where I live, and they happened to have two really big ones at the time at this particular store. So I got both of them. I think they were about $15 each. They make the tank look so much better, plus they really make the fish swim around more, the little tetras. They definitely, well right now they're kind of nervous because they're like, why the heck are you watching us so closely? But usually they are out and about like swimming around all the plants and I just realized how much more living space, how much more usable habitat it gives them to feel comfortable in. I'm so used to fancy goldfish. Fancy goldfish are pretty much considered like a domesticated fish species at this point. They really don't show any difference in behavior if they have cover, you know, things to hide under or plants to hide within. So I don't really always realize that like different types of fish actually really, really do like having cover and plants to hide in and swim around and stuff. I'm also going to probably eventually change out the substrate for a more planted tank friendly substrate and add a lot more plants, definitely a lot more plants for sure. I want to tie little Anubias all over the driftwood and then have some really tall Amazon swords growing in the background, maybe some smaller plants in the foreground. It'll be a work in progress and probably over the course of many weeks because I have so many other projects going on at the same time as well. We're gonna get a little view of the baby Pleco back there and it's no longer, well, it is still a baby, but it's so big now, you guys, look at it. It's probably, I would say like almost two inches long, maybe like one and three quarter inches long now. It's also a lot more bold now that it's bigger. I see it out and about pretty much all day long. It's not that hard to spot it because although it is brown so it blends into the driftwood really well, he's always moving around and swishing his tail around and stuff. So super active, really fun little fish. And then of course I've got Flotsam and Jetsam. Jetsam is 
the male albino longfin bristlenose pleco. Here he is munching on his zucchini. He's so cute. I love him. He really has a yellowish hue to him as compared to the female. She She's more white and a lot less yellow than he is. So I don't know if it's a different, it must be some difference in genetics, but I don't know enough about pleco genetics to know exactly what it is that's different about them. Every single time that they have spawned and had babies, 100% of the babies have been this brown wild type color pattern. So I guess that means that they don't both have the albino genes to pass on or something. So there's the update on the 90 gallon tank here in my living room. Hi Palmer, do you want to say hi to everyone? Oh, were you taking a nappy? Were you taking a nappy? Can you show everyone your beautiful singing voice? Oh! So Palmer just got neutered, when was that? Like a week ago, I think? He's my boyfriend's dog, but he's been staying with me ever since he got neutered. Since I get to be home all day, and my boyfriend works out of the house, so he can't watch him, but I could. So he's been staying with me for this past week. It's been a lot of fun, right Palmer? He's done with me. All right, let's go get the angelfish and add them to the tank. Ah! <laughs> Back here in my office now, and it's time to net these three angels out of here and get them added to the big tank. Here are the three, the main group. I got them in this bucket, and now we're gonna bring them to the tank. I'm going to try offering them some flakes now and see if they're willing to eat already in their new home. If they're not, that's okay, it won't go to waste because the tetras are always hungry and believe me, they will eat it. Thank you. 
so there they are in their new home I'm really excited because I think they're gonna love it I'll give you guys an update on them and this tank in the coming weeks hopefully sometime I can get around to changing out the substrate to a more natural planted tank substrate and adding some more plants to this but it'll probably be a little while in the works for that project since I have so many other things going on but in the meantime at least the angelfish are moved into here and they're going to love it so thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you next time and until then stay gold Hey guys, I have a new merch design that I'm really excited to share with all of you. Officially, we have some new Solid Gold merch. I'll show you guys the t-shirt. I'm actually wearing it right now. It says Solid Gold Aquatics, and look at how cute that is. It's available in t-shirts and also tank tops. Yep. That's a tank top. Also on mugs and stickers. I know you need another solid gold sticker in your life. Your laptop looks a little bare. These are available on my Teespring store, you guys. Check out the link in the description section down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.